Freely the Banana Girl. I don't know about you guys, but I know plenty of banana girls in New York City. And this girl originally got famous for promoting a diet eating 20 bananas per day and eating up to 51 bananas. So very cult-like way. And also she is a nudist that lives in a South American jungle. So some sort of weird following here. But we're going to look into how contradictory... Her diet is not only saying she's off-grid and buying things from the supermarket, but just how unrealistic it actually is to be on a vegan diet and the lack of nutrition, specifically in raw vegan diets. So today's video is a what I eat in a day off-grid vegan video. So we're going to start with orange juice. And these oranges do look a little bit green, but they are actually quite sweet inside. They could be a bit... Note, quite sweet inside. It's sweeter, but we don't have a lot of fruit at the moment, so... We've got to make do with what we have. So when I have orange juice, I don't muck around. I have a lot of orange juice because that is my meal. So this is my morning meal. This is my breakfast. So I need to get enough energy, enough sustenance to keep me going to the next meal. So I will have anywhere from one and a half to two and a half liters of orange juice in one meal. She just said, we don't have a lot of fruit. And then she went to say, I drink a lot of orange juice. Am I missing something here? According to historical data, oranges actually have been eaten for over four and a half thousand years. That is a long, long time. That is a long, long time. Not in the context of evolution and foods we have been eating. Four and a half thousand years is nothing. And I mean, that's even more recent than rice. That's, that's pretty crazy to think uh, that someone's going to use 4,500 years to justify consumption of a food. Very unrealistic. They are a great source of antioxidants. They help boost your immune system. They help improve your circulation, blood pressure, reduce inflammation, lower cholesterol levels. Drinking orange juice is absolutely a great way to start the day. So as you can see here, I'm getting up to two liters there. And this orange juice isn't like super, super sweet. So I like to add a little bit of coconut sugar, stir that around, stir it in. And it just brings up the richness of the orange juice. And it is healthy in itself. Don't let anyone tell you coconut sugar isn't healthy for you. Not only is two liters of juice not sweet enough for her, she has to add sugar to it and then say, oh, don't let anyone tell you it's not healthy for you. This is completely nuts, guys. Not only that, she says all these benefits of orange juice. You know what else has those benefits? Drinking some mineral water, ironically. And just the unrealistic access, you know, the glass bottles, all this stuff, off-grid. Like, seriously, you're going to go to the supermarket and buy a case of oranges every week and tell people you're living off-grid? Seriously? Those trees, are you living in an orange grove? Like, what's going on here? So then I would take my orange juice and go and edit some videos, actually editing this video that you're watching now. And um, yeah, just drink my orange juice while I'm doing my editing and get the morning started. Many of you have asked me what movie editing software I use. I've used heaps of different ones over the years, like Final Cut Pro, Mavavi, ScreenFlow, but now I'm using Adobe Premiere Pro. Robin actually put me onto it and I would say it is my favorite editing software so far. Okay, so now it's lunch and I'm going to have a chocolate mint milkshake. That's right, you heard right. Chocolate milkshake. Is this like what a five-year-old would eat in a day if they could choose their diet? And the base is going to be dates. So I'm pitting the dates and I'm having about 20 dates. That's how many I usually have. And then add some water, add about 1.4 to 1.6 liters of water. And next comes the organic cacao powder. And you might want to just start with a teaspoon or so. I put a little bit too much in. And I don't usually even have this recipe, but I thought I'm going to go a little bit gourmet today. And there's a drop of peppermint oil. And Lives off grid, has electricity, has running water. She's not getting this water from a stream to put in this milkshake. And all of these foods, the dried dates, the cacao powder, the peppermint oil, Foods that she's obviously not getting locally. I'm sure this girl could do this stuff locally and eat local foods, but that's not what she's doing. And she, I think this is very misleading. Just blend it up. The choc mint flavor is just incredible. It's really, really nice. But I wouldn't recommend it every single day because cacao can be quite stimulating. But here and there, you know, it's fine. It depends on how you feel. I feel like I'm going to shit my pants looking at this. You can't, <laughs> you can't be serious. You cannot be serious. This girl literally 
buys all this stuff in a supermarket, blends it up with electricity from her tap water, takes the blender, walks out into nature on a log, dressed up like she just escaped a cult. What is this? Is this like, who watches this? Seriously, who supports this? This is completely nut job stuff. Like completely batshit crazy. How could you go out in nature holding a blender in your hand on a log that was clearly cut by a sawmill and then vegans have the nerve to say, oh, humans need teeth and canines and fangs to hunt animals. Like seriously? You think a blender is less advanced than a deadfall trap, than a wooden spear, than a knife? Uh, I'm losing my mind. Looks really comfortable sitting there. Real happy drinking that, huh? Okay. One thing I've noticed when I used to be a bodybuilder drinking a lot of shakes is consuming liquid calories is very stressful on the digestive system because there's so much excess liquid, you pretty much have to pee it out. So if you need to drink two or three liters or well, up to like a half a gallon, a gallon of water or liquid form, like even dairy, for example, it's very stressful on the digestive system to get that many calories in because humans would never have had access to that amount of calories in a liquid form. So realistically speaking, you would never consume more than a cup or two of liquid from any source of calories in any meal ever. Uh, this is excluding water. So it's very difficult to justify, especially uh, people consuming such large amounts. And I can't imagine how many times she used the bathroom the, during the day. It must be insane. So let's go on to the dinner recipe. And I know some of you are probably wondering why I put in the title, Goodbye Cooked Food. Well, I'm thinking about doing a video about it. I am going all raw again. And um... notice how she said, I am going all raw again. Raw vegan is even more nutrient deficient than regular vegan. And you'll notice in many vegans and vegan YouTubers, they try to go raw and then they end up back to cooked foods. They're not getting enough calories. They're not getting enough sustenance. They're barely able to do it on a vegan diet, let alone a raw vegan diet. And there's people that for some reason think a raw vegan diet is going to detox me. It's going to cure my ailments. It is literally starving yourself to death. These people don't understand. They think a vegan diet's healthy and then, oh, raw vegan, obviously it has to be healthier. No, it's, it's completely misguided conventional wisdom that fruits and vegetables and plant foods are healthy is really killing us. It really is. Uh, I'm not going to go through the rest of this video. It's just her, literally like eight minutes of her going through this recipe. You know, she adds like, uh, she adds like seasonings and spices like garlic, turmeric, uh, ghost chili pepper, lemongrass, obviously things she didn't grow in her backyard. And she had the nerve to say fresh from the garden, like she grew this stuff herself. And then she puts like, uh, she holds a coconut with a machine and a glove on. Uh, she's showing all these uh, foods like plantains and eggplants and yams uh, and, and things that she could not have grown on her own. I remember her saying in another video she did that she tried growing eggplants and, and or, or maybe yams and then the pigs literally ate them. Classic example of not having access to plant foods in nature. And then she pretty much adds the whole forest to this meal, mushrooms, a bunch of other things. And, you know, adding artificial seasoning, salt, coconut, various things that uh, to make it more palatable because vegan food is disgusting. And the irony is that, you know, she puts these things on like a wooden board, like the chickpeas and lentils, like she didn't buy them in a giant bag. And then she goes to cook it in like this iron steel pan that was forged by modern engineering. So... Uh, I guess the last thing to touch on is just look the crazy amount of food they're eating and the volume of food this girl is eating throughout the day is insane. I think she's at least eating six to eight pounds of liquid and uh, food. So uh, another funny thing about her is when she goes to do like anything in nature, like besides washing herself, she ends up, uh, let's see if I can find it. She's wearing a hat, gloves, like she's suited up, completely suited up to be in nature. And then when she like goes to take a shower and stuff, then she takes her. It's just so out of touch with reality. You're pretending you're in nature. You're wearing all this, these outfits, you know, half naked. And then when you actually go to do some stuff in nature, uh, you know, you put some clothes on.
Printer of Technology is is an example because he does everything literally in his shorts. It's it's really interesting, you know. Compared to her, he's doing everything in literally the most natural way possible. Uh, definitely out of touch in regards to her. And if we look at fully raw Christina, she just literally has like an unrealistic. It's like a farmer's market in her kitchen. She has so much produce that would never be available at all parts of the year in all climates. This is just completely unrealistic and crazy. And you know, my detox experience when I first went fully raw vegan, another example of people going raw vegan and not being able to stick to it. And just this, this girl in general is, this is completely, if you look at her fridge, like the amount of produce is, it's just so unrealistic and so out of touch with reality. I just found a lot of irony in vegans trying to act natural, that this is how humans are supposed to be, and all the methods and things that they have to actually use to get nutrition from foods. Uh, especially plant foods. Uh, also, you know, the high sugar consumption of the diet, the lack of just fat type of vitamins in general. And yeah, I mean, a lot of foods that vegans eat and that these whole foods, plant-based vegans eat might have been present in some blue zone diets. But what these vegans are missing is the very high fat soluble vitamin consumption from super, super high quality animal foods. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, where's the bananas? What happened? I guess, you know, there's plenty of banana girls over here in New York City. So you guys can maybe come visit me one day. Uh, I got plenty of plenty of stories from bartending <laughs> in regards to that. But uh, if you guys would like to support me, please just share the video. Uh, I got some affiliate links I have to talk about because I, I like showed my salt in a day of eating video and it was sold out the next day. And like you guys are buying, like I have seaweed down there. I have any product like my eye masks, cod liver, uh, things like that are in the description under Amazon affiliate links. I got to do a video talking about those in general. Maybe I'll Touch on it briefly in every video. Uh, in regards to my Patreon, check that out. See what levels of support you guys get. It's pretty much dietary analysis at reduced rates. And if you do want a one-on-one -on -one consultation in regards to diet, fitness, sunlight exposure, as well as water consumption, very important, water consumption, one of the most important things people overlook, shoot me an email, frankatufano at gmail.com. Everything is in the description, guys.